Hey folks, I'm Savian Glory, and welcome to part 24 of my campaign as Alexander in Total War Room 2 with the Divide et Impira mod. So, Alexander and Lizzie Machus are on the march, getting close to the first Cartley settlement. We're going to declare war on them fairly soon. Um, and then, once we've dealt with them, obviously the plan is to sweep south. Let's look at the map, we might see things a bit better. So we're up here, we're going to come down through the Caucasus and head towards the Achmenids. Um, everything behind us, I should have again looked at the diplomatic map. Um, everything behind us is fairly secure. We've not got obviously great relations, but these are such small factions and we've got good friends down here for now. So hopefully we can keep the boy, the Brucey, the Scordus guy, Roxolana Iazigas, all on side. And they will help us deal with anything that attacks us from the rear. Uh, if we look at this, so yeah, we've got defensive alliances with the boy and the Brucey and Taris. Taris down here. Just, I don't even know, can't remember why I, did, I took them as defensive allies. Um, and obviously, Epiros is a military ally, and the Scordus guy as a um, client state. So we're at the end of the turn. Um, we've got a huge amount of money, but I can't spend it on anything just now. So we're going to go ahead and um, move on. Oh, that's right. Uh, our, our agent was wounded. She's on the way back. Helicay. You want us to pay you six grand almost for a non aggression pact? You're very tiny. You need to get through Taris, so no thank you. Yeah, so Helike has recovered, recovered from her wound. She's heading back out to scout out the area ahead of us. My people can only dream of wealth like yours. Can you not spare some? Now, five thousand seven hundred and forty for a defensive alliance. Um, I actually, yeah, that is the Roxolana. I thought that was Archie Bosphorus. You used to have really good relationships with them. How about if I offered you slightly less than that? Um, I was thinking 2000, but let's offer them 1640. Uh, let's try it around. If we demand payment, try that way. Let's try 2840. We're not, Can you not spare some offering you that. 3220. We're close, we're close. Um, Let's go for three and a half thousand. Final offer. Signed and sealed. Nah, yes, swines. Okay, we might go back and ask them for a defensive alliance then. Your generals might be the you want to join the war against system. Rome? No. We ask you today to send them against... I'm not we know that wealth can accepting be your uh, imperial ambitions. 820, I think we'll accept that one. Just to give us another bit of a buffer down there. Not that I'm expecting Rome to rise to great heights at all. Alright, some desertion in our garrison. Who rises? Dacian tribes again. This is about the third time. They're back in a kink. I wish somebody would bloody take the settlement. Alliance between Dacian tribes and the Brucey, that tends to happen. Uh, pet sheep. And I'll be populous in Sunmacia. Okay. Um, yeah, I wish this gorgeous guy would. Uh, go up and finish them off, or one of my other friends up that direction. But never mind. 
up here. We'll just carry on the march as best we can. I think we might actually fortify. So for fortification, we need yeah thirty percent of a force's total movement range to assume this stance. So if we go to about there, that's just below fifty percent. There we go. And we'll do something similar for you. Hang on, that's a bit strange looking, isn't it? Try that again. Uh, yeah. Just to there. And we'll let the winter pass before we go and make our attack. And now... Have you carried on down the coast here? I'm not sure how close Heliki is. Nothing to see there. Oh, Heliki is up here. Well, I think I'd like you to head in this direction then. Alright, just come that way. Okay. It's looking alright for now. And is this where we had the desertion? It may have been. Can't remember. Uh, but also oh, nothing that we can do just now here. What's our squalor like? Minus one. Oh, we very much can live with that for a while. Foods at four. We're all good there. Foods at twenty six. Foods seven here. I doubt very much I'm taxing Lugia, I'm not. So nothing we can do to improve that. This will be done and it will help slightly. Okay. It's a meteor. Do I start to raise this army? and send it up there to hold down that province. I'm going to need that army eventually. So we may as well, I think, start to uh, to build it up. But I'm just thinking, how much does that contribute towards public order? Characters is 10. I really wish I could get Apollonia. But I can't. So... Do I leave that army where it is and start recruiting up here? Petrodava. We do have a barracks. I think we'll do that. I think we'll raise another general. Let's check out our family. And... Akamas... You're, already, you're the general who's uh, uh, already leading that small army. And we've got you kitted out almost uh, to be a general. Campaign map movement range. I think we'd rather take that. And morale for all units. What else do we get? Plus one gravitas. We'll keep that, I think. Yeah. Leave all that as it is. Um, so this is Aradeus. Right, Petrodava, let's raise forces. There he is. Let's just make sure. Yeah, that looks like him. I try that again. You raise an army uh, with Cav, as you would expect. And what sort of units can we recruit? 
Okay, let's well no, let's start off with the cheaper units. So two archers, I think, is what I tend to go for, and three uh, slingers. We'll just do that just now. We'll build it up slowly. And in here, uh, Taras really like is the Bruce, the Bruce the boy. Uh, nobody's at war with the Dacian tribes yet. No, that's why we can't assign our war goal. All right. Um, Yes, I guess that's what I was looking for. Are you interested in a defensive alliance? Food for no. Us when we have How about if we offer you a payment then? Nothing like that amount. 2,400. Didn't even come back to negotiate. Defensive Alliance, we'll try again, slightly higher. Um, 3,000. Nah, fair enough. I think we'll send a diplomat, see how we get on. Hopefully it doesn't damage relations. I uh, don't know if anybody else we can trade with. Not that anyone that likes us. The Achmenids, we're not going to trade with them. Right. And let's check out you. Still at war with um, Archibosphorus and Iaste. Still unfriendly towards the Achmenids. So you're not going to ask them for help. But unfortunately, the Achmenids uh, are slightly friendly towards Cartley. Mostly from cultural affinity, I suppose, though. So, we can leave that, and as I said, we'll go to politics. Not politics, uh, characters that I'm after. Uh, we'll go with the Macedonian nobility again, because their loyalty is at six. So, Cassander, old chap, can you go to the yes, guest, please? And try and improve their opinion of us. And with that, we'll end the turn. When am I building this new army? Yeah, outside Petrodava. That's fine. I wonder who the Dacian tribes will go to war with. Or who will declare war in the Dacian tribes. It's bound to happen. I should maybe have asked if they wanted to be... Uh, um, tributary state. I dare not ask much for my people. No, not interested in the military alliance. Replenish. If you're stronger, yes, but there we go. Ah, not so good. Um, Silver Tongue. Our envoys have discovered a woman in a foreign village who seems to be blessed with the power of persuasion. We could hire her to assist in future negotiations with foreign nations. Political favour. Um, I'm probably not going to be doing much diplomacy in the way things are, so we will take the political favour instead. And... I've forgotten what his name was, but he's dead. We got some attrition. I was, wasn't expecting that. A ah, Cassander. Failed diplomatic mission. Scored this guy, I've gone to war with the decent tribes. We've got our Temple of Athena. Late spring. Lysimachus. Yeah, okay. And our recruitment. While I'm here, let's get uh, yeah, another slinger. I'm 
I've forgotten now. Who was it? I, um, doing some pill tests. Can't remember now who I was recruiting. But we've also got different options up here. Should I just go with the good old Hephaspistai? Yeah, let's get a couple of them. Don't know if we'll have too much cav in this army. We don't have the manpower for that. Hmm. So we might need to move south. Well, I think in that case, we're going to cancel that for just now. We will bring you south. I want you to head uh, yeah, across the Danube. But move to there for now and then we'll recruit here. Uh, but just the same as I was going for two of them and Hippaspistai. Oh, and we can recruit these guys here now. Well, does that draw out all the manpower? No, we've still got 256 required and we've got 287 available. So, oh, we don't have the man um, the recruitment slots. Fine. Right. Gorgeous guy. Well, I'm not at war with the Dacian tribes, I suppose, so I can't set that as a war target for you. Yeah, as a guess, you're not down at 17 because of that full diplomatic mission. But potentially worse than that. Loyalty of zero. Hmm. Yeah, we might secure loyalty at some point. But we'll, we'll wait and see. Now, how does this, that's affected our um, influence? We've gone up to 53%. But all in all, I would have preferred if he hadn't been killed. Right, so if you go into normal stance now, you can't quite make it to the, the town there. Change my mind about you going in through the coast. I want you to come in through here. You carry on up to there. Uh, so they do have an army. Let's go and see if we can sabotage it. Who is it? It's just a general. 32% chance of a successful, uh, at least, wounding. Let's give it a try. Enemy is wounded. Well done. Another army there. I'm glad I did send you in after all. Uh, and you've gone up in rank, so... Yeah, let's improve that. Burn ammunition. No, I'm not too bothered about that. Yeah, that would be better. Let's take that one. And do we want to come down in here? I think we do. Although minus ten percent unit replenishment in local region. Well deployed. Now let's go with this. I think we'll take both of those. Um, is it too late to reset that? 
Yes, right, we'll go with the Silent Blade. I want to take the plus one zeal. You don't have huge stats for anything. You probably want to keep the plus one cunning there. Yeah, right. We'll accept that for now. Lots of spa and Mthelny. Archers, but obviously no cav. These guys have got lots of archers. Just a general. Are you close to being at war with anybody? I mean, like Roxolana. No, you're actually decent terms with Roxolana now. Oh well, we're committed, we're going to have to follow this through regardless. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, we did move you, yeah. So, we can end the turn I suppose. Let's quickly check our construction. I don't think it's possible to build anything. Um, we've still got a few turns before our tech research is complete. Right, we'll just end the turn then. I really hope the Cartley and Archimedes don't form some sort of unholy alliance. Can do without that. More attrition. Uh, allied request. Hermes, god of all trade, also protects thieves. It would surely please him then were he to rob enemy merchants of their ill-gotten gains. Raid a settlement or trade route that belonged to a faction of Roma. Right. For 500, I don't think we'll bother. The inspired populace is good and our recruitment's done. Right, because our army is up in here. So, yeah, carry on down there. Let's get some more recruitment done. I'm just taking the two who pass this time for now. And why did that jump down there? Ah, because we can't recruit anymore. We've not got the manpower in this area. Get some cav, but I don't think we will. No, we're just going to wait and cross the Danube and finish recruitment in there. Yeah, okay. That's all good enough. And over here, the army's moved on. Let's try and Sabotage the supplies here, maybe. Could you do anything in there? Settlement sabotage, rally slaves and raid. Not too bothered about any of that. Uh, what about here? Army sabotage, demoralize. 44% chance. Let's try and sabotage the army then. Good. And if you try and do something as well, sabotage supplies perhaps. I think we'll go for the ammunition. Destroy ammunition. Good again. Okay. Let's get you. Oh, you are in. 
normal stance. Why are you not fortified? Who knows? Anyway, let's get you to come forward to just to here. Then we'll get you to come up Can't get you far enough. And you're definitely not. Uh, we've lost too many men through attrition. Nope, that was a bad move. Let's get back. Uh, I suppose I'm coming through all that. Well, friendly territory, but not my territory. Maybe it's better to go for Fanagrea. Yeah, no, that's bad. Bad planning. Bad execution. So we're pulling back. Uh, we'll go back and we'll replenish our troops and we'll try again in a different way. Damn. Okay, anyway, let's check in here. Politics, we're at minus 10 now for a while. Political actions, we lost 10 points from that. Right. Now let's see if we can't improve things again. Philotas, can we give you anything in here? How about an old lady? Minus four gravitas per turn, we'll give you that. Uh, plus two authority. Yeah, take the next slumlord. I'm going to send you up here, try and improve things again. And we'll end the turn. I can't believe it. I forgot completely about the supply system. And I've had plenty of warning, at least two turns, if not three, where we took attrition. And I wasn't paying attention to how much of an impact it was having. Um, Nahanar Valley. Perhaps they can be distracted by gold. I would be prepared to accept non aggression pact, and 2600 is not bad. We'll just go ahead, we'll take that. Political intrigue. My diplomat has returned accompanied by a master horseman. I would have preferred cash, but at least it's a positive diplomatic mission this time. Um, Kimbro is risen. Population surplus finally in Macedonia. Uh, Farnes. That's okay. And we've got a recruitment done. All right. Okay, well I think I'll put a break in here and we'll pick this up again next time out and try and recover this dreadful situation. Um, we'll see how we do. But for now, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment to rate the video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.